Okay, now, you guys must know who Miles Guo is, I assume. Okay, of course you know who Miles Guo is because you know who Steve Bannon is. And if you know who Steve Bannon is, then you've watched The War Room. And if you watched The War Room, then you've heard the song Taking Down the CCP. And if you've looked anything into that song, then you'll know that Miles Guo and his team are some of the most courageous people on planet Earth to be able to be whistleblowers of the CCP, to break away from this disgusting, disgusting, tyrannical, satanic um, government, and to be able to just... Uh, be unapologetically unafraid and go out there and speak what needs to be said. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring on my next guest now. Uh, she's representing uh, Miles Guo and his team. Her name is Ava Chen. Ava, thank you very much for coming on Live from America. Hi, um, everyone. Thank you for having me, Jeremy. Thank you. Yes, I, you said so much about us. I'm uh, really grateful. You're telling the truth. Well, thank you so much for being here. Look, I know you're putting your life on the line every time you even dare to open your mouth out about the CCP. We were uh, rally and demanding the DOJ and your uh, government system to release Miles School immediately because we are all saved by him. We thank him because none of us actually took the toxic vaccines and our money has not been defrauded by Miles School. Our money has been the whole time defrauded by the SEC, who is in collusion with the Chinese Communist Party. Okay, so that's the fact I wanted people to hear on your show. So you're saying that the SEC, the American SEC, is in a relationship, ties, whatever you want to call it, with the CCP. So that so you're saying that the CCP is controlling our government agencies uh, by proxy. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Ava, where is Miles right now? Miles is in a federal detention center. Um, he has been denied bail by the prosecutor in the Southern District of New York and actively arguing that Miles School is a flight risk because he is a foreigner. OK, so that's absurd. Well, because let me he, just let me just stop you there. Not only is it absurd, but like he's going to fly back to the CCP. I mean, exactly. really, like I, he would rather die in jail here than go back there for one day to the CCP. Am I right? Yes, okay. absolutely. SEC has seized all of us money in 2021. OK, and they promised they themselves wrote email to me. I'm one of the investors. They wrote email to me, say they established a fund called Fair Fund and they will return those money to us. Guess what? That's in 2021, but now it's already 2023. I have not received a penny from SEC, and they're trying to pin this on Miles School. So our money has been the whole time with SEC, not Miles School, not GTV. Wow. So the SEC is involved to bankrupt you, so you have no money to operate. That's why the SEC got involved. But did the FBI, are they the ones that, who arrested Miles? The FBI? Okay. So the FBI arrested, there are over 100 FBI agents raided Miles School's apartment. Wow. We have 600 uh, million freedom living Chinese behind this cause. Amen. We are ready to take down the CCP anytime. Are you ready? This is what I'm asking for America. Are yes. you ready? Wow. Mind blown, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely mind blown. Possibly, nope, definitely is the best interview that I have ever had. I want to thank her so very much. And ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, just so you know, uh, the meeting between Xi Jinping and... Um, Vladimir Putin, I want you to know what was said in that meeting. Xi Jinping said change is coming and that has not happened in a hundred years and we are driving this change together. Putin says, I agree. Their goal is to destroy the United States of America. My question is, are we going to continue to let our leaders destroy us from within? Are we going to stand up? Are we going to allow the United States of America to become China, 